A very good evening and thanks for clicking on to the Tuesday edition of Vogan's European Outlook. We've got an early season cool spell coming up, uh, a fairly significant uh, taste of autumn, even early winter for parts of the British Isles. And this is going to be a sharp uh, flip around from what we have seen, of course, earlier in the month. We've seen temperatures as high as 31 degrees just uh, a week or so ago. And even over the course of today and yesterday, we've seen temperatures as high as 26 Celsius, which is, by the way, very, very warm for the for the second half of September. But uh, what is going to be interesting is the change, the sh sudden sharp turn down in temperature over the next few days. We've got a cold front at the moment sinking south over the UK, and that is going to introduce much, much cooler air as we go through into the middle and second half of this work week. So you can see here off the GFS ensemble here, the upcoming five day period, two meter temperatures clearly below normal, extending into France and into Spain, into the central portion of Europe, way above normal of course, as you can see here, across the eastern half of the continent. Even in the six to 10 day period, you can see here still below normal, but you notice here it's not just quite as cool compared to what it is going to be in the front run in five days and of course you can see the cool spreading out more across the heart of Europe here still warm across Scandinavia and across eastern parts of Europe here so why are we seeing the change we are seeing the change uh, in my opinion directly down the storm Teddy Hurricane Teddy uh, that is uh, almost taken on a due north track um, up into eastern Canada now as we skip through the sequence here folks what is going to take place is here comes Teddy it's going to scrape uh, the northeastern half of the United States where we've seen record cold in, in the last few mornings but what is essentially going to do is it's going to push into eastern Canada you notice here that there's an area of high pressure a ridge to the north of Teddy so T Teddy's here we've got a ridge of high pressure here and notice here over the northern hemisphere so of course this is the northern hemisphere view if you didn't know that I should have explained that this is North America Greenland Iceland British Isles Teddy is going to push northwards and what it's going to do is it's going to force a, a almost a, a, a flip in the upper height field over the northern hemisphere and this is going to be a significant change by the way and something that is at least worth watching now it's a long way off the winter if you didn't already do check out the video from the other day i talk about the solar cycle the solar minimum that we've got at the moment the lag effect my concerns with regards to the correlation between the solar minimum and actual weather um and I'm going to continue to look at other aspects, whether we're going to get a sudden stratospheric warming event this year. Last year, it was literally no chance. This polar vortex was just way too strong. And of course, we had a very, very warm, record warm winter, pretty much northern hemisphere wide. But what is going to be interesting is there is indications of uh, Teddy pushing a heck of a lot of warm tropical air northwards. And in a sense, in a sense what that's going to do is it's going to pump high pressure up over the polar region here and that is the signature of a negative uh, arctic oscillation here so as we skip through the loop pay attention to, to teddy it kind of mixes with uh, an area of low pressures so it's not as distinct if you will but watch the reds and even the lighter shaded uh, red colors here watch the turnaround over the northern hemisphere and by the way as I skip through this loop it's almost salivating my mouth because if we got this type of pattern even in the December wow it would be a great pattern for uh, for snow and for cold that's for sure but this is basically the northward heat transfer of uh, the tropics pumping it into the high latitude region so basically it's doing what the tropics is meant to do what hurricanes and tropical cyclones are meant to do is um basically take heat from the tropics from the equatorial region and transfer and redistribute that northwards into the high latitude region here and this is why the, there is an increased a likelihood or a possibility that we could see a stratospheric warming event take place this year because we've had such an incredible um, 
energy released from the tropics, from the, the tropical oceans into the form of tropical cyclones. And all that heat is getting lifted out of the equatorial region and getting redistributed into the, the temperate region, into the middle altitude region. What that I think could be, I could be wrong, but it could be, is that may uh, have a downward, downwind effect uh, a couple of months from now. So say all the, the, the activity that's going on in the tropics at the moment, that could lead to a more negative Arctic oscillation, more blocking over the Arctic region come the winter season. And if that is the case, we're going to see more troughs in the North America. And hopefully, if the Arctic oscillation goes also along with the negative uh, North Atlantic oscillation, which we've really not seen much of, then you're in for some decent winter weather, potentially. Not a given. Even if you get a negative Arctic oscillation, North Atlantic oscillation, it's not a guarantee for cool weather in the British Isles, but certainly it does help a heck of a lot. So you can see the change already. Now this is out to the 1st of October here, you notice. And uh, you notice here that we've got a uh, region over um, basically over the Ural Mountains here. This is basically the dividing line between Europe and Asia. You've got region over the top. We've got somewhat of a cross polar flow going on here. Look at the ridge going up over North America, over the western side, and you've got a ridge of high pressure over the classic region that delivers cold to both Eastern North America and Western Europe here. So th this here would be beautiful if it happened in the winter season. But what is interesting is, is the atmosphere telling us something as we go further down the road? That is the golden question. That's it for today. I hope you have a good day. I hope um, you're staying safe. And uh, I'll be back in the next couple of days with more. Bye for now.